Yo, what's up, family? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm in the book of Jeremiah. I wanted to read with you guys out of chapter 50, verses 23 through 46. And this is Babylon's defeat. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Bab Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Cadians. Come against her from the utmost border. Open her storehouses. Cast her up as heaps and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Slay all her, bu her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto them, for their day has come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it around about. Let none thereof escape. Recommence her according to her work, according to all that she hath done, do unto her. For she hath been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in the day, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord God of hosts, for thou day is come, the time that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall rise him up, and I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all around about him. Thou saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captive held them fast. They refused to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name, and he shall thoroughly plead their cause, that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. A sword is upon the Cadians, saith the Lord, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dote. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. A sword is upon their horses, and upon their chariots, and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her, and they shall become as women. A sword is upon her treasures, they shall be robbed. A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up. For it is the land of graven images, and they are mad about they are mad upon their idols. Therefore the wild beasts of the deserts with the wild beasts of the islands shall dwell there, and the owls shall dwell therein, and it shall be no more inhabited forever, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. Behold, a people shall come from the north, a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance, they are cruel, and they will sow no mercy, so, and will not show mercy. And their voice shall roar, roar like the sea, they shall ride upon horses, everyone put in array like a man to the battle against thee, O daughter of Babylon." The king of Babylon have heard the report of them, and his hands waxed feeble. The anguish took hold of him, and the pangs of a woman in travail. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan unto the habitation of the strong, but I will make them suddenly run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? And for who is like me? And who will appoint me the time? And who is the shepherd? that will stand before me. Therefore ye ye the counsel therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Babylon and his purposes, that he hath purposed against the land 
of the Cadians. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. At the noise that is taken of Babylon, the earth is moved, and the cry is heard among the nations. Amen. It all shall come to pass, family. Keep watching.